Hello students, welcome to class. We're going to be going over the second half of unit 11. Uh, the second half of unit 11. Okay, right now we're talking about fire procedures. We're talking about what you would have done in a particular situation, what you would have done. Uh, this is Again, unit 11. Okay, we're actually on the top of page 86. Once again, we're on 86. Okay, so you're going to take turns making additional sentences from the clause elements. Once again, sociable is a very, very friendly person. A practical person is one who is very good at focusing on things like money and time and things like that. Intelligent means you're very smart. Charismatic means you're a natural leader. People love paying attention to you and do what it is you ask them to do. To be direct is to be clear, to be open, to be honest. To be enterprising is someone who wants to start a business or start new projects. They love doing new things. Independent means you like to do mostly everything by yourself. Generous is helping the people around you. And careful means you pay close attention to what you are doing. Listen and repeat. If I were, notice the were, W-E-R-E, -E, if I, and then we're going to go to would. If I were more sociable, I would make friends more easily. One more time. If I were more sociable, I would make friends easily. If I were more practical, I would save money. If I were more intelligent, I would get better grades. If I were more charismatic, I would be a leader. If I were more direct, I would say what I think. If I were more enterprising, I would start a business. If I were more independent, I would live alone. If I were more generous, I would help those around me. Generous means you like to give your money or your time. If I were more careful, then I would make fewer mistakes. Okay, so we're going to talk about re careers and their requirements. Yes, we are doing this again. I want to give you more practice in this. All right, so let's talk, uh, this is some review. We're going to talk about careers and their, and their requirements. These are the things you need to, to be or do in order to have that particular job. Okay, listen and repeat. Could you be a teacher? I could be a teacher if I did not hate children. Could you be a doctor? I could be a doctor if I weren't scared of germs. Could you be an editor? I could be an editor if I did not make spelling mistakes. Could you be an engineer? I could be an engineer if I wasn't terrible at math. Could you be a singer? I could be a singer if I did not have a bad voice. Could you be a builder? I could be a builder if I was not afraid of heights. Heights is being up on top of very tall buildings. 
could you be a farmer? I could be a farmer if I didn't like to sleep late, if I did not like to sleep late. Could you be a chef? I could be a chef if I was not sensitive to stress. Okay, let's look at our self-practice again. This is on page 87. And the, I don't know his phone number. I won't tell it to you. If I knew his phone number, I would tell it to you. I can't swim. I won't go kayaking in the ocean. If I could swim, I would go kayaking in the ocean. My car is broken. I can't drive you to work. If my car wasn't broken, I would drive you to work. My roommate has guests. You can't stay at my house. If my roommate had guests, you could stay at my house. Sorry, one more time. If my roommate didn't have guests, you could stay at my house. I can dance well. I won't take dance lessons. If I could dance well, I wouldn't take dance lessons. I want to stay home. I won't go to the pub. If I wanted to stay home, I wouldn't go to the pub. I don't own a computer. I can't type reports at home. If I owned a computer, I could type reports at home. I don't take planes. I can't travel quickly. If I could take planes, I would travel quickly. Or if I took planes, okay. Okay, this is the if you game. So, if you could buy anything, what would you buy? You know, if I could buy anything, I would buy a sports car. If I could buy anything, I would buy a huge apartment. If I could meet a celebrity, if if you if I could uh, if you could meet a celebrity, who would you meet? If I could meet a celebrity, I would meet. And then talk about this. Talk about who you would meet. If you could go anywhere. Where would you go? Talk about where you would go. If you could eat any meal, what would you eat? <laughs> I would probably eat pizza. I love Indian food. Thai food is a lot of food I love. Okay, um, if you could choose any job, what would you choose? So notice it's if you could something, what would? Okay. Uh, I love my job. I'm a teacher. Okay. I would love being a teacher. If you could save only one thing you own, what would you save? And most people would probably say their cell phone. Uh, or their records. If I had more, uh, if you, uh, if you could do anything for one day, what would you do? Okay. Now this test, we already went over this test. Um, it's an interesting test on honesty. 
and go through that and uh, test yourself on whether or not you're an honest person. Okay, we're going to go. All right, we're going to do the optional activities. We're going to start on page 89. We are going to start on page 89. Okay. Okay, this is what page 89 looks like. I'm sorry it's a kind of a strange picture, but for some reason when I try to log in, it won't let me get into the normal page. So this is what we're going to have to deal with right now. So right now we're going to listen to a little bit. We're talking about a person named Kazi. So again, we're talking about a person named Kazi. Listen very carefully. Let's read the questions first. It can be true. T, you're going to write T for true, F for false, or NM for not mentioned. It just wasn't in there at all. So we're going to listen to Kazi Hassan describe his life abroad. Question number one, if Kazi worked in Bangladesh, he could earn more money. Kazi has one daughter and one son. If Kazi were with his family, he would read his children's stories. Kazi lives with other workers from the same company. Kazi's family saves nearly all of the money that he sends. If Kazi were sick, he would still be paid by the still get paid by the company. Kazi is in debt. Kazi is looking forward to returning home. Okay, let's listen about Kazi. I'm Kazi Hassan from Bangladesh. Right now I'm working in Singapore. If I still lived in Bangladesh, I would make less money. However, my life would be easier in many ways. For one thing, I would not live far away from my family. I now miss my wife and children a lot here in Singapore. If we still live together as a family, I would enjoy my wife's cooking I would read stories to my children every night. At present, I share a room with five other men who work at the same company as me. We all send nearly all of our money back to Bangladesh. Okay. It, I would not live far away from my family. I now miss my wife and children a lot here in Singapore. If we still live together as a family, I would enjoy my wife's cooking and read stories to my children every night. At present, I share a room with five other men who work at the same company as me. We all send nearly all of our money back to Bangladesh. If we had more money left over for ourselves, we could live more comfortably. Also, we are always scared of getting sick or hurt. The penalty for missing work is larger than the wages we earn. Therefore, if we were late or absent too often, we could go into debt with the company. Life is hard here, but I am happy to support my family. I look forward to the day when we will be together again. One more time. I am Kazi Hassan from Bangladesh. Right now, I am working in Singapore. If I still lived in Bangladesh, I would make less money. However, my life would be easier in many ways. For one thing, I would not live far away from my family. I now miss my wife and children a lot here in Singapore. If we still live together as a family, I would enjoy my wife's cooking and read stories to my children every night. At present, I share a room with five other men who work at the same company as me. We all send nearly all of our money 
back to Bangladesh. If we had more money left over for ourselves, we could live more comfortably. Also, we are always scared of getting sick or getting hurt. The penalty for missing work is larger than the wages we earn. Therefore, if we were late or absent too often, we could go into debt with the company. Life is hard here, but I am happy to support my family. I look forward to the day when we will be together again. All right. If Kazi worked in Bangladesh, he could earn more money. That's false. He would earn less money. Kazi has one daughter and one son. Uh, it doesn't say NM. It doesn't say what, what his children are. If Kazi were with his family, he would read his children's stories. That's true. Kazi lives with other workers from the same company. That's true. Kazi's family saves nearly all of the money that he sends. NM, we don't know what they're doing with the money. If Kazi were sick, he would still get paid by the company. False. Kazi is in debt. False. Kazi is looking forward to returning home. True. Okay, page 89, listening. Listen to the sentences in each pair. Choose the one you hear. I'll go to the park if it rains. Circle the correct answer. I'll go to the park if it rains. I'll say hello if she smiles. I'll re I'd relax if he stayed quiet. I'd relax if he stayed quiet. I'd quit the match if she had to. I'd quit the match if she had to. I'd be happy if he studied hard. I'd be happy if he studied hard. I'll shout if he plays any more games. I'll shout if he plays any more games. Reading and writing. Reading and writing. Page 90, 90. Read the passage about photography. Think about a hobby you enjoy. Complete this section below by filling in the blanks and writing three conditional sentences which might characterize your hobby. Photography as a hobby involves more than just taking selfies. Selfies are pictures you take of yourself, usually using a stick. Photo photographs can capture feelings. They can also tell stories. Have you ever heard the phrase, a picture is worth a thousand words? Think about these three statements when you are considering photography as a hobby. First, if I had the time, I would explore new places around me to capture interesting images. Answering yes means you might enjoy hiking to find spectacular views, or you might enjoy standing under the night sky at 2 a.m. to photograph the stars. Third, uh, second, if I had the money, I would travel to other countries to capture images of others. Photographic opportunities can be found by attending festivals or strolling through city streets to take candid shots of local people going about their business. Candid means a shot of normal people doing normal things. Oh my. Uh oh. No, uh, that is looking at the wrong page. One second, guys. I'll get the right thing in there. Uh. 
If I had the money, I would travel to other countries to capture images of other cultures. Photographic opportunities can be found by att attending festivals or strolling through city streets to take candid shots of local people going about their business. Third, if I had the chance, I would like to learn how to take better pictures. In fact, you can meet fellow photographers in clubs and share experiences, tips, and tricks to improve your photos. If you agree with any of the statements above, then photography could be a good hobby for you. And if photography could be a good hobby for you, you might want to encourage a few of your friends to get involved as well. Okay, now there are two ways of doing this. Let's take a look at the ways of going about doing this. Okay, now this is what would happen if you used the, uh, the paragraphs uh, up here in the purple box to make writing. But what it's actually asking you to do is this. Think about a hobby that you enjoy and write about that hobby. Write about uh, things that someone would say if they wanted to do that hobby. Like if they were uh, thinking about making jewelry, it's more than just beadwork or, or things like that. So if you're considering beadwork as a hobby, I'm using beadwork as an example. Beadwork is making necklaces and, and earrings and things. First of all, if I love jewelry, I would enjoy beadwork. Uh, second, if I loved making things with a needle and thread, I would like beadwork. Third, if I liked making beautiful things with my hands, I would enjoy beadwork. That's just an example. You have to think of something that you enjoy and write about it. Okay, grammar review answers. A, page 91. If he stopped exercising, he might gain weight. If they slept with a mosquito net, they would not get bitten. We could win the lottery if we had more luck. They might help if you asked them. If I knew that you miss me, I would call you more often. They could have watched the concert if they had bought tickets sooner. Grammar review, these are A and B. Practice these short conversations. A, if you had only one year to live, what would you do? B, if I had only one year to live, I would enjoy every moment of every day. Two, if your friend wanted to marry someone you hate, would you say anything? No, I would not say anything. If I said something, it would ruin our friendship. 3. A. How would you react if you saw people fighting in the street? B. I would be surprised, but I would not do anything to stop them. It's too dangerous. 4. What would you do if you lost your passport in a foreign country? B. I would visit the closest embassy to get a new one issued. 5. A. Would you call the police if you heard strange sounds in your neighbor's house? B. I'm not sure. It would depend on what kind of sound I heard. 6. A. Who would you ask for help if you were in trouble? B. If I were in trouble, I would ask my friends for help. All right, we did a lot of review in this lesson. The main thing you need to know is you need to go all the way back to your grammar review and go over that. And be sure you can do all of the speaking, the A and B, that is in this particular Unit 11. Go back over it very carefully. Use your grammar review to practice filling in the blanks and answering questions the way you would on your writing test.
Great job, guys. Have a wonderful day.